Hovercraft are amazing vehicles. They can glide effortlessly over land, water, mud, and even ice. First introduced in the 1950s, these fascinating inventions defied the limitations of traditional modes of transportation. With their sleek design and powerful engines that create a cushion of air to lift it off the ground, the hovercraft can travel at high speeds over a variety of surfaces, making it a versatile vehicle for a range of applications. Imagine one of these vessels that's larger than a football field, capable of carrying hundreds of passengers and dozens of vehicles across the water in a matter of minutes. With their massive size and impressive speed, hovercrafts are like nothing else on the water, soaring over the waves. So come along for the ride and discover the world's biggest hovercraft, a marvel of engineering that has captured the attention of people all over the world since the 1950s. CCGS Sipu Muin Sipu Muin is a capable Canadian Coast Guard heavy hovercraft station at the CCG Hovercraft Base in Trois-Rivières, Quebec. The craft is critical in flood control operations in eastern Canada by breaking up ice-covered rivers and shorelines along the St. Lawrence River, where traditional icebreakers are unable to operate due to the shallow waters. It is also used for search and rescue, and to maintain navigational lades along the river. It is made of aluminium and has a standard displacement of 36 tons when empty and 70 tons when fully loaded. It is 28.5 meters long and 12 meters wide, with a top speed of 48 knots and a cruising speed of 45 knots. The craft has a range of 300 nautical miles and a one-day endurance. It is equipped with a crane capable of lifting up to 4.5 tons, and her versatility and payload of 23 tons allow her to transport any combination of cargo and passengers through inaccessible areas. The Le Cac One. This high-speed, over-the-beach, fully amphibious landing craft is used by the US Navy and the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. It is used to transport the assault elements of the Marine Air Ground Task Force's weapons systems, equipment, cargo, and personnel from ship to shore and across the beach. It can carry up to 75 tons, which includes heavy payloads such as an M1 tank. The craft can land on more than 70% of the world's dangerous coastline, which no other landing vessel can do. The vessel is 26.8 meters long, 14 meters wide, and is operated by a crew of five people. When fully loaded, the hovercraft has a top speed of 40 knots and an empty speed of 70 knots. The craft's range is 300 nautical miles, and because it is designed to land on the enemy's coastline, the craft has two mounted machines, guns, and a 40 mm grenade launcher. The Lecac 100 The Lecac 100, also known as the Ship to Shore Connector, is a hovercraft designed to replace the Lecac 1 in the United States Navy. The craft is nearly identical to the one it replaces, but with a few modifications in the engines, cockpit, and skirt. When fully loaded, the improved engines will increase the craft's speed from 10 knots to 50 knots. The vessel has a length of 28 meters, a beam of 14.6 meters, and a crew of four people. The massive open deck of the craft measures 149 square meters and can carry up to 74 tons of various loads, such as M1 main battle tanks, support vehicles, heavy equipment, and other armored vehicles. An enclosed personnel transport module, separate from the cargo deck, can house 145 combat-equipped troops or 108 casualty victims. It can also operate day or night, regardless of tides, water depth, underwater obstacles, ice, or mud. The BH-7 the BH-7 was a medium-sized hovercraft designed for military use, and it was the first quantity production hovercraft designed specifically for military use. The Royal Navy put the prototype through extensive testing, which included mine countermeasures, fisheries protection, anti-submarine warfare, search and rescue, 
border patrol, naval surveillance, and transport duties. It was 23.9 meters long and 13.8 meters wide. It had a displacement of 50 tons at full load and a top speed of 60 knots in ideal conditions. The ship was armed and could transport 170 soldiers. Despite the fact that it was never widely used in Western armies, the hovercraft was purchased by the Imperial Iranian Navy and has since been listed in the Iranian Revolution Navy in the past few years. The Murina The Murina, also known as the Tsay Playa class Lakak, is a Soviet-era hovercraft designed to transport landing assault units and combat materiel from equipped shores to non-equipped shores in shallow littoral waters. This class recently got attention when the director of the Russian shipbuilding facility in Khabarovsk recently announced plans to restart production of this type of hovercraft this year. South Korea currently operates three of these crafts, which it received in 2006. The craft has a length of 31.6 meters and a beam of 14.8 meters, allowing it to carry up to 45 tons of cargo, which is equivalent to one main battle tank plus 80 troops or 160 troops. The vessel has a top speed of 50 knots and a range of 100 nautical miles. It is outfitted with two 30mm AK-306 light automatic gun mounts controlled by an optical sighting device, as well as eight Igleman pads. The SRN-4 The SRN-4 hovercraft was a passenger and vehicle-carrying hovercraft that ran regular services across the English Channel from 1968 to 2000. It has the distinction of being the world's largest civilian hovercraft ever put into service. The first design accommodated 254 passengers into cabins alongside a four-lane automobile bay that could accommodate up to 30 cars. Just after 1976 repairs, two SRN-4s were refitted with new deep skirts and stretched by nearly 17.1 meters, doubling their capacity to 418 passengers and 60 cars. The SRN for its overall length after repairs was 56.4 meters and its beam was 23.8 meters. It could cruise at speeds of more than 60 knots and reach a top speed of 83 knots. The craft performed admirably at first, but the construction of the Channel Tunnel in 1994 rendered its services across the English Channel obsolete. The AP-188 the AP-188 is a medium-sized civil hovercraft that can seat up to 101 passengers or up to 90 troops when configured as a troop carrier. It can carry up to 10 tons of cargo when used as a military logistics vehicle. It has several advantages over previous hovercraft in terms of increased fuel economy and lower noise output, which is primarily due to the decision to power the craft with several diesel engines rather than gas turbine engines which were used on previous craft. The vessel is 24.5 meters long and 11.2 meters wide, with a cruising speed of 50 knots. The SRN-6 The SRN-6 hovercraft was a larger version of the earlier SRN series. While the first series, such as the SRN-2 and SRN-5s, were used in commercial service as trial craft, the SRN-6 was the first production hovercraft to enter commercial service. The knowledge gained during the development of the SRN-6 was crucial in the design and production of the SRN-4, the largest civilian hovercraft ever built. SRN-6 had a length of 17.8 meters, a beam of 8 meters, a top speed of 50 knots, and a range of 170 miles. Due to its high operating costs and limited passenger capacity of owner 58, the SRN-6 was unable to remain in civilian use. However, military versions of the SRN-6 are still in use by numerous militaries throughout the world. Zuba Class the Zuba class is a type of Soviet-designed hovercraft that is currently the largest in the world, 
with a standard full load displacement of 555 tons. The hovercraft was designed to transport amphibious assault units from ships to shore, such as marines and tanks. It has a length of 57 meters and a beam of 25.6 meters, making it capable of carrying three main battle tanks, 10 armored vehicles with 230 troops, eight armored personnel carriers, eight amphibious tanks, or up to 500 troops. The craft is outfitted with two stabilized multiple rocket launchers for Igla March 8, 2023 portable air defense missile systems and two AK 630mm automatic rifle mounts. Suba has a range of 300 miles and a top speed of 55 knots, though it has been known to exceed 63 knots under certain conditions. Currently, 10 vessels are operated by China, Greece and Russia.